Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocksteady. Tracy here and I've got to announce that I am not going to do the review on the UK Lash product that um, I said I was going to trial. Um, I have already used it three times. I put three applications on but I'm going to be stopping using it straight away. Now, I'd heard great things about this product, that it can um, increase the volume and the length of your eyelashes. And as mine are quite sparse and never been really happy with them, I thought maybe I'll give it a go. And I, I didn't go in totally blind, if you pardon the pun. I did research it a little bit and I looked at the reviews and that's as far as most of us go when we're looking at a product. Some of us don't even do that, do we? We just buy something and start applying it and not think about the actual science behind it and the ingredients that are there on the back that some of them basically are what two feet long if you write them down so you know we're not biochemists we have no idea what half these things are and we just take it that we can trust the products we buy but sometimes you can't sometimes you can't trust them so I watched a video yesterday and um, it was too late for me to um, kind of stop my previous update. Um, I'd already filmed it and it was already going to go up. So I put on a little note on it saying I no longer use UK Lash. And this is the video to explain why and why I've stopped. So the video that I saw was a dermatologist that I watch from time to time and she looks at affordable high street products are they good are they as good as the expensive ones do we need to buy expensive ones she looks at all that sort of thing and recommends and um this particular one that i watched was all about these lash serums because there's quite a few out there and uk lash at first did not look like it was part of the band of uh, ones she was talking about so um, I started to watch it. It's quite a long video. So I paused it when it came to the ingredient list. And the one that we've got to look out for, basically how it started was there was this, this um, medication called Latisse. And you can only get it on a prescription and they only really um, should give it to a person who has glaucoma, who is needs their sight saving. So if you've got glaucoma and you take your prescribed latisse it can cause certain not so great side effects but it's beneficial because you know it's more beneficial to not lose your sight and suffer a few consequences but one thing they noticed while they were using this on their glaucoma patients was that it really did um enhance eyelashes it made them grow it made them thicker it made them longer and so that's why it's now been adop um, adopted by the beauty industry but over-the-counter purchases of eyelash serums can have 10 times the amount of active ingredient that Latisse would have 10 times it's not regulated if it's for a medication it's regulated but if it's over the counter beauty products not regulated in the same way so the the ingredient we're looking for is it's a prostaglandin and it goes by many many names and uh pgf2a is basically the uh what it is and the uh, the long list of ingredients that i saw uh, the one that was on the packet of mine was isopropyl cloprostinate. Cloprostinate. Isopropyl cloprostinate. See what I mean? They're like four foot long when they're written down. I'm not kidding. So that was on my packaging. And what does it do? So it can cause discoloration of your iris permanently. So it would change the colour of your eyes. Mine are green. They could become brown. 
using this because of the melanin. And it can cause um, discoloration of the eyelids. So where you're ap applying it, it will discolour. I've seen pictures. It's not even. It's not nice. It's not like, oh, I'll have a permanent eyeliner. It's nothing nice, believe me. Um, it can cause sunken eyes. So, and deepen the recesses in the lids. So it can sink them there and it can sink them here because it, it attacks the fat layer. So that fat layer is essential Otherwise, you will look a lot older and have real deep sunken eyes. It can cause that. So it can cause this part to shrink, this part here and under here. OK, um, iris cysts. Seriously, it can cause cysts on your iris. It's got cystoid macular edema, which basically can give you an inflamed retina. Once I got to that, I didn't, I didn't list anymore. I didn't, I didn't listen to it anymore. I just thought, right, okay, I'm going to Google the ingredients. So from now on, when I get a product, and I did sit there and I Googled, I had to take a photograph and enlarge it. And I got down, I didn't do more. But once I got to that one, I knew it was a no-no. But all these ones up here, you know, they're actually really beneficial to your eyes. They could have made a really good product that had eye benefits, but they chose to put in isopropyl cloprostonate instead. And to me, it's just not worth the risk. Any of those things are not worth the risk. Now I know it's always so many in a hundred that will get this, so many in a thousand that will get that. So, but if it's you, they're not reversible, you know, your eyes will permanently change colour. You will permanently have this discoloration. Um, this particular doctor that I was watching was Diane Hilal Campo. She's an ophthalmologist and a medical professional. And she said that in the patients that she had seen, although they said that the, the discoloration on the lid may be reversible, she has never seen any of them reverse, ever. So basically she does do her own line of eye beauty products and it's called 2020 as in 2020 vision and her ingredients are all kind to your eyes and promote growth so i am considering i am now considering switching to doing a trial on this particular product instead because um of the benefits to them there is a spray that you can put on your your eyes and face and it is antibacterial and it helps with rosacea and I do have a bit of that so there is also a whole range of high makeup that she makes that um, and serum so I was going to have a little look at that and perhaps maybe try it um, her ingredients are ingredients we're all familiar with that don't kill you or cause these things it's called mostly believe it or not castor oil is in a lot of hers as well as other things obviously but uh uk lash i've applied for my money back i bought a duo, duo pack and i have applied for my money back so because it contains isopropyl cloprostonate and I've told them that you now since finding out that it includes this ingredient that is um, a controversial ingredient that I'm not prepared to try. I would like my money back. And if I don't get that money back, then I will be putting that on here as a customer service review. Um, we shall see what happens regarding that product. But I will not be using it. I don't recommend it to anybody. And um, I certainly will be stopping my trial straight away because of it it might not have happened to me it you know i might not be one of those people that get any of those symptoms but the the fact of the matter is i'm not chancing that and you know it's just not worth the risk to be honest with you um so yeah thanks for watching um i will i'm, I'm going to actually and i bought this the other day as well just before i go I did buy this lip oil the other day and I said, oh, I'm going to do a trial for that. But you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to take a photograph of this and expand it. 
and every single ingredient that's on the back of this I'm going to google it and find out what it is and I'm instead of just willy-nilly applying products to myself uh, in future I'm going to be doing this when it comes to something like your eyes you can't take chances you can't it's you know damage to your eyes and not just your eyes we're talking about this skin here and I've been spending my time trying to rejuvenate um, my eyes and, and get and bring the collagen back so why would I use a product that could risk um, making that even worse getting rid of the fat layer and um, completely sinking my eyes and eye sockets um, so I'm glad, I'm glad I saw that I am really really glad I saw that and I told um, I told her so to be honest with you I said you know you've you've saved me really I won't be using that product I won't be trialing it for you guys because I don't want to encourage anyone to pick that up and and use it thank you for watching um any trials I do from now on I'm going to google those ingredients and make sure that they are exactly what they say they are okay bye for now